Gary, this must feel a bit deja vu, mustn't it? <laughs> Here uh, back at Luton Town and in front of all us mob. Yeah, thought I'd seen the last years. <laughs> <laughs> now it was. Uh, now it is. It's. It's. It's good to be back. It's. Uh, I've been enjoying it. Um, been here now for a few months, so it's, it's been a real. Uh, we've worked hard, and it's, it's. It's been a good period, and, it, and it, like I said, it's great seeing so many familiar faces, and and, it, and it's, it's good to be back. Take us back to when you kind of realised you might be coming back here. What was what, what happened with you and Graham and the club? Um, I, it was probably, you know, early stages. I had no idea that was um, certainly myself, but even Graham. You know, I just um, sort of act as a act as a bit of a um, go between, if you like, and sort of um, give give my opinion on on both parties to to both parties and. You know, tried to give my honest opinion on, on on everything concerned. I thought it would be a good fit, but you know, I know what football's like. There's still a lot of a lot of work to be done. So I sort of took uh, took me me bit um, on on a couple of occasions, but sort of left it at that. And it was probably um, you know a month or so later before I realised that you know it gone a step further. And you know, when it's uh, like I said, I'm I'm, I'm really glad that. You know, both parties agreed something, and, and, and you know, like I said, likewise that I, that I'm involved in it. What did you say to Graham about the club? So again, like I said, my, my honest opinion. It, it, you know, I always knew it was a great club. I, I worked first hand. I thought there was some real, honest, hard work and genuine good people behind the scenes. I knew it was a it was a, a tough job when when I was there, and I had to sort of try and you know cut through that a little bit and. Give me honest opinion as a whole, um, and 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 it, it's, it's what I believe. I, I always thought it was you know, once once the club got back in the football league. I always thought it'd go from strength to strength. I think I'm you know probably on record as saying that back back in them days that you know when it was um, I think it's back where it belongs now in the championship. And you know Graham obviously made his own mind up on on, on the people he, he spoke to and and the club and you know what what he thought of the club, but. Like I said, thankfully he's, he's come here and, and he asked me to come with him. And was it always Graham's plan to bring you with him? No, it wasn't. I mean, even, like I said, you know, me and Graham are real close friends and, you know, we've spoken in the past loosely that you know, one day we'd like to work together. But, um, like I said, it was very early stages when I spoke to, to, to Luton about Graham and, you know, I didn't even think about it, about that. that that didn't come come to my mind. I was working at the time, and like I said, you know, there's a lot, there's a long way to go. Uh, probably a little bit later down the line, when when I knew it was serious. Um, again, I probably without asking the question or thinking too much, probably thought, you know, he, he's going to go in a different direction. And um, but you know, I was pleased when, like I said, not just Graham, but the club asked me to come back and. You know, uh, they thought my my experience from last time I was here would, would be would be good to, to help Graham as, as well as the experiences I've got in, in other you know other jobs I've had and the years experience of being involved of involved in football could you know hopefully help Graham and this club achieve what they want. And so when Graham asked you whether you know you might fancy it, what, what were your initial thoughts? Yeah, I, ju- I jumped at the chance. Like I said, um, you know it wasn't. Um, it, 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 I genuinely didn't look that far into it. Um, so when he asked me, it was probably the the time when I realised that that he was serious about that it was going to happen, and and, and he sort of asked me at the same time as was when I realised that it was you know there was a real good chance that, that it was going to happen. The two the two parties would get together, and you know like I said, I, you know I was I, I jumped at the chance, and you know. Um, like I said, I've, I've, I've enjoyed it. And since you've been here, what have you what have you seen from the from the club and the and the players and the team? Because it's changed a bit, hasn't it? I mean, even this training ground here is completely different to what it was like when you, when you were in charge. Yeah, it was. Like you said, you know, you, you remember back in back in the days when you know it was um, you know, the clubs changed so much. You know, I think a big part of it was, was the training facilities. I think that's important if, if you if you're a football club and professional full time football club, you need good place of work day in day out and I think that was a real big plus you know and also like you said you know to see so, so many familiar faces who've been through them them tough times and come out the other end 
like I said, you know, good people. Um, you know, I've always um, kept in touch and congratulated you know certain people when when um, when the clubs had success and done well and um, like I said it was it was a great opportunity for me to come back it's a, it's a big decision for me to come back since I left here I've um, sort of settled back in in the north and, and you know the jobs I've had since since living here, leaving here have never caused me to, to, to have to leave home so it was a, a big decision my kids are young they're at school and um, you know, once I made the decision to come here, you know, it was a, a decision that I wanted me, me whole family to make with me. And like I said, we've we've moved back mm -hmm. um, down here, and you know, we're up to now. You know, we're, we're really enjoying it. And the kids started school yesterday, and you know, it's 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 been it's been a real um, a real experience. I mean, you didn't leave on bad terms, but was there a, a I don't know a anxiety about how the supporters might take the news? Yeah, but not not for, for not for my personal. You know, I'm not. Uh, I'm, you know, I think I've got skin like a rhino, so I'm not one of the people who takes things personal. I just, I just didn't want to come here and put Graham under any immediate pressure, or or, or, or the, the people behind the scenes I didn't want to put anyone under unnecessary pressure by it being a negative. Like I said, I think everyone who I, I got to meet and speak to, and um, you know. I, th I think I had a good relation with them people, but you, you obviously, you know, the supporters that don't feel seeing the best of me. Um, you know, I've certainly, um, you know, as, as well as the experience I've had when I, last time I had the job, I feel like I'm a better, a better all-rounded coach and person since that experience. And you know, I'm not, I'm not a, you know, I always look at the positive side of things. And you know, it, it was a good experience. You know, I'm really proud to, that that I've managed this club. Um, it's, it's something that you know I've always cherished, and that, you know, like I said, you know, you, you can't. You look at some of the best managers; they don't win all the fans over. But you know, I think it's something that I'm, I'm coming down this time a better person, better equipped coach, and, and I'd like to be part of the next, um, you know, big success. And you know, like I said, you know, hopefully convince them fans who who did doubt that you know I am the right person. Winning games changes that anyway, doesn't it? And the way, the way Luton got off to the start of the season, then, uh, then everyone can be happy. Yeah, it is. I think you know. Um, I think me and Graham have definitely got the same beliefs, and you know the results probably weren't what we wanted. I think the performances were evident that you know. I think if you get in the right performances, you, the, the results will follow, and you know that was certainly the case. We always felt confident um, in the games that we were we were playing good stuff, playing good football, creating chances. You know, and we knew. Um, you know, the big thing would be the mental step of stepping up into the, the championship. Um, but you know, the lads have coped brilliantly, and I think they've had the just rewards with the last few results. And how does the relationship work on the training ground behind the scenes with you and Graham, and maybe Inigo as well? Is there a kind of a good cop, bad cop thing going on, or is it everyone plugs in together? No, I think it's. You know, I think I don't think the need needs to be an act. I don't think that's the situation here. I think. The boss is very, he's a very honest person, you know, and I think, you know, he's, um, I think he controls emotion really well, but you know what, I think when you're honest with people, you know, it's not just the good that you're there, it's, it's, you know, it's the bad as well, and you've got to take it both, and, and I think we're all pretty much the same, you know, when he's got good qualities as well, which which the boss has seen enough of to, to, to promote him with us, in, 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 with the first team, and, you know, just working with him, you know, he's, he's a good football man, and and I think we make a good team, you know, and we just try and support the manager as much as possible. His, his A game, if you like, is his coaching, that's something that he's, he's had his most experience in. And, you know, and I think it's important that he does the, the, the bulk of that and, you know, we support him as best we can, not just with the coaching, but other areas around the, around the job. Has it helped with the kind of calibre of player and the, the mentality they have? It's a, it's a Good bunch here. It seems it always has felt like that in, in recent years with Sheehan and some of the older ones steering the ship, if you like. You must that must have helped you and Graham out and the other coaches. Yeah, I think you know when we when we took the job, the, the first thing we concentrated on was the recruitment, and that was no uh, slayer on the, the current crop of players. Uh, you know, we, we we knew we needed championship experience, and you know the recruitment process between myself, the manager, um, Mick Harford, Gary Sweet, and. You know, it, it's it's been real, real hard and in depth, and you know we we feel like we've recruited well, and then 
after coming in, putting them all together, that's that's when you can really tell. On top of that, you get to know the character and the and the type of people that you've inherited, and you know the strength and unity at the, at the football club at the, amongst the players is just unbelievable. You know, they're a real honest bunch of lads, and you can you can see why the, the fans warm to them. You know, even without the success they've had, you know they, they give they give their all. They're an honest bunch, and they wear the heart and the sleeve. Final one for me. With how the season has gone so far, how, how how far do you think this lot can can go? See this season and then a bit longer term. I, I, without sounding like I'm sitting on the fence, I, I I don't think we genuinely look at that. You know, we we just want to take every every day, every every game as it comes, and try and max out the the, the full potential of the the squad of players. You know, and go into every game like you said trying to perform as well as we know we're capable of <coughs> and back that up with the right results and let's see where that takes us. You know, I think there's a there's quite a mixed view on what what, what the, the club can do this this season. But like I said, you, we don't want to get bogged down with that. We want to uh, just focus on, on the next game. And uh, like I said, we've got a good, honest bunch of lads here who will give you their all, they listen to the information and like I said, you know, we're, we feel like we're performing well and you know, if we can just keep on saying with the, the last three results we had last week, you know, we, we, we feel we'll be okay. Cool. Cheers, man. How did your relationship with Graham actually come about? Was it, was it playing days and just <coughs> through that? Oh, God, yeah, we, play, we played together for Doncaster. Um, back in the, you know, I think it was Beta Max, you'd have had to watch us on <laughs> to see us playing football, but it was, um, you know, we, we, we both played together with Doncaster. Um, I actually lived with Graham when I first moved in. You know, he was good enough to put me up and for the, for the first uh, couple of months while while I settled in, settled down in, and we've become real good friends um, ever since that. We've had different football and experiences, but we've always stayed friends. You know, it's um, you know, it's I've, I've always watched it. You know how he's how he's progressed, and, and likewise, and we've always kept in touch. But. You know, there's never been any pressure on, on either one of us to, you know, to, to want to work together. It's always been, you know, a natural thing that we, we thought one day w w would happen, but it's it's never been anything that we've sort of chased. So you sort of hit up into the teammates and it's just carried on from there? Yeah, really. Like I said, yeah, we we you know we start that's how we first met, and you know, obviously you 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 you're, um, you get to know each other, and you know, like I, I think we only played together for. It was a year and a half, and then we went our separate ways. But we've always, we've always remained good friends. And then, did you see managers sort of in him? I mean, when he was obviously playing, and then becoming assistant, did you always think he had the, the the qualities going to come a manager at some stage? Yeah, I think when when we knew each other, we were still, you know, playing and looking to re reach the peak of our playing careers. So, uh, but I always knew Graham. One of his qualities was once he once he got his teeth into something. You know he was, um, you know he wouldn't let go. You know when he was, I, I watched him in a, a lot of things where, you know he sort of started the bottom and you know we'll, you know, get, and, I, and I'm not surprised by, by how well he's done with the coaching. You know when I look at the career he's had, I, I'm proud to be his friend when I've seen, you know the the, the heights he's reached as a coach. You know but like I said, I'm, I remember when he very first started his coaching, like everyone else, and once he gets his teeth into something, you know I knew. You know, we'd get better and better and better. And like I said, I'm not surprised with the career he had as a coach. And you know, he's he's now having involved in management. And, and I know he's he's the same with that. He'll want to make this succeed. And did you work with the Everton for a bit? Did you work there, bro? I was more with the academy then. Obviously, he was with the first team, but it, it sort of overlapped where where I was at the club when when he was with Roberto Martinez the first team. But I was more concentrated with the academy at the time. Because I'm the manager and done a lot of other roles, do you feel like a system is maybe your, your best role or one that suits you best uh, in your career? Um, I, I don't know. I suppose you'd have to ask the managers I've worked with. But I think, you know, I think I, I, I've never been an, an egotistic type of person who has to be the boss. You know, I always feel like I want to, uh, I want to go into work every day and enjoy enjoy my job, enjoy my role, enjoy working with players, trying to make players better. Um, I think I'm a winner. You know, I want to win football games, um, but not, a, not. A, you know, I want to try and do it in a, in a, in a style that, that, that we enjoy, both practicing and watching. And like I said, it's, um, you know, I've, I've, this isn't 
the, the first job I've come into as an assistant manager. I've been an assistant manager before I went into management, and the last few years I've been an assistant manager. And like I said, you know, I've enjoyed. It. I, I think anyone who knows me will tell you that I'm not one of them people who do something if they don't enjoy it. You know, when I do, I am enjoying the role, Graham. Um, I want to help Graham as much as I can. You know, achieve what 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 he wants to achieve. Now he's got his teeth into a new challenge and. You know, like I said, it's a, it's a little bit of fate, if you like, it's an old club that, that I know and you know, I've got a lot, a lot of feelings towards and, you know, hopefully we can achieve that success together here. Yeah. Did you feel there's a little bit of unfinished business when I come back in, obviously, because when you had, you were in charge at the time, you know, to come back as you had done? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, I think, you know, um, I think, you know, I have my opinion on, on, my, on my spell here as a manager and, you know, I, I always knew it was going to be tough, but, you know, um, you know, I think that the little bit of work I felt like I did do, um, I thought was ingrained in, into the side, and you know I've always watched them, you know, sort of being proud and delighted for the club that that it's got back where it's wanted, and, and to have been some part of that, like I said, you know, I think anyone who, you know, you, I'm, I'm proud that I've been, I've been a manager of this football club, and you know, to see where it is now and then to get the chance to come back and, and, and be part of it now in the championship and have another go at it, you know, like I said, it's, it's, it's a real great feeling personally, but like I said, I, I try and I'm, I'm not the type of person who concentrates too much on myself. Like I said, we've got a job here to do and, you know, I want to I try and bring some more success to the football club. It's fair to say you were a bit of a post in the penalty shoot away from bringing the club back in the football yourself, weren't you? Yeah, it was. It was, um, it was tough. I remember at the time I was only caretaker when I first took over, and um, I remember being excited if, if we got promoted. I always knew the job would be a little bit easier if, if we got promoted after that. Um, so, like I said, when we when we missed out on that penalty shootout, I knew it was going to be a tough job, and it was one that I had to really think long and hard about before I, before I eventually took the job. And like I said, um, you know, it was I knew there was a lot of work to be done. Um, so that I felt during that period, you know, um, you know, I, I felt like I had to change a lot. There was a lot of players who um, were probably on the decline in their careers, and we had to change things around to, to move forward. And I felt like I had made strides with that with some of the signings I'd made, and you know, and um, you know, like I said, it was it was a tough one. It was a it was tough when I left, but like you said, you know, you have to dust yourself down, get on your own career, but. Like I said, I've been delighted for the people who did get really close with at the club, who live you know, down this, this end of the world, who I've stayed friends with, and, and I was delighted for them when the club have had the success they've had. And like I said, it's, it's, it seems unbelievable that now it's back where it is, that, that I've got another, another opportunity to come here and work again. Have you found the reception? You said you're hoping to get both of the supporters. Have you found that since you've come back? Yeah, I think, like I said, you know, I don't expect them to, you know, I, not on his lips, you know, I want to I wanna earn that respect and I, I want to earn that, um, you know, what, what the fans probably haven't seen him yet. So, you know, this this is an opportunity for me now to, to, to try and win that, them fans over and hopefully we can be part of something that brings more success to the club. But, you know, like the people who I've met um, face to face and, like I said, I've moved up to the area now, I've, I speak to a lot, of, a lot of fans and... You know they've been brilliant. You know made me feel really welcome, made my family feel really welcome, and and I'm and I'm looking forward to it. And there was an addition came in last week to Nathan Daniels. Think you worked with him at Blackpool last year. Yeah. Um, but did you play a big part in him joining the club as well? Yeah. Well, obviously I've been part of the recruitment process here, and you know it's it's, it's been really tough. Um, and we've spoke about players and some of the players we've we you know we haven't been able to get or players that you know and I've worked with some of them. Some of them. Is um, he's a real talented boy. He's he's always sort of been on the tip of top top teams list. He's had good clubs. He's still only twenty five, and I don't feel like he's reached his potential yet. And he's someone if he can um, get himself fit, get himself you know, get a few games at Doncaster, get himself up to speed. You know I know he's capable of being a real top player, and you know hopefully he can. Um, you know, achieve that by his little long spell now and come back here and help us progress. You know, it's sort of, sort of come full circle now, but do you ever wonder what might have happened if Jason Walker had just put his laces through that penalty? 
I mean, even good and bad, I don't, I'm not one of the people who sort of dwells on things that have gone on. I think things happen for a reason. You know, I think we all have to deal with disappointment in our lives, you know, and, and I'm one of them who just, you know, gets all dust myself down and get on with it. And, you know, I, I, I'd like to think I'm a positive person and it's no good looking back. And like I said, I was part of the, part of the process. You know, I look at the club, the history of the club, you take more of a, an interest in, in a football club when you've when you've been part of it and you know when I see um, even before I come to the club when I seen the club getting promoted back into the football league I was I was so delighted for the, the people I knew personally there and I watched them getting promoted into Division One um, I was you know delighted I think I text at the time all, all the you know, Gary Sweet and, and all the people who were part of the club because I was delighted because I thought that was the very least where they deserved to be. And my first game as a Blackpool assistant manager was against Luton, which had a lot of fear. And I spoke to you, I think, that day, the next year. Me and you had a photograph together. You made me look good on that photograph. And, you know, so the, the, you know, there has been a lot of genuine support without, you know, without being over, over the top. It's, it's a club that obviously means something to me. You know, I had my me, me first child when I, when I lived here. And, you know, um, for her to come back as well, it's quite... Um, it seems quite weird for me and me and my wife, but bringing my daughter back to here where she where she lived, and so it, it you know there's a lot of there's a lot of little personal things as well. But like I said, overall I'm delighted to come back. But you know I'm not spending too much time dwelling in the past. You know I'm you know I'm enjoying the day to day work. Like I said, I want to help Grain, who's, who's my manager, but also my friend, as well as people who are friends here at the club, achieve more success. I think that's probably helped me a little because I totally understand that. You know, I totally understand the club was unfairly treated. And I think again, I, I didn't understand at the time on record that you know what happened to the football club at the time was was so unfair. You look at clubs like Berry now and going through what they're going through, and you know Luton had a, a double whammy. You know, the two successive relegations, and then there's. You know, everyone feels hard done by. You know, everyone feels like we need to get back to, to it. But it doesn't matter where you are. You watch it every year. FA Cup games, smaller teams knocking out big teams, and football. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a strange game. No one's got any divine right to, to, to win it, and and it, we knew it was going to be tough. You know, you, you're playing in the conference against teams which I know people find hard to believe, but they've got bigger budgets than than Luton, and they're spending a lot of money, and people are desperate. And, I remember the team at the time where, where Fleetwood went, you know, I don't think anyone had even heard of Fleetwood when, when, when I was there and Jamie Vardy playing up front for no one had heard of him. But, you know, that was the team that was, you know, I knew was going to be the competition that year. You know, you see like Salford City, what they've, what they've achieved. So there's a lot of smaller clubs who are getting big investment who come under the radar a little bit because they haven't got that fan base, they haven't got that expectation and, and then you, they've soared through the leagues and... So I knew it was going to be tough, you know, I knew it was hard for the for the Luton fans to accept where they were because it was no fault of theirs, you know, and um, like I said, it was, I knew it was always going to be tough, that, that I knew when I made the decision to take the job, that, that, that was part of it and, you know, that's, that's the industry we're in, like I said, I'm not, I'm not the type of person who holds grudges, I always try and look positive, dust myself down and get on with the next job, but, you know, what, like I said, I felt proud of the work that I'd had done. Um, you know, I think every manager who ever gets sacked always wants a little bit longer. You know, but that's like I said, it was you know I left and I still left on good terms because I knew the reasons why. And um, you know, it was to help the club move on to the next. You know, just whatever it took to to, to move the club forward, whatever it was made in, in, in the right decision. And um, like I said, it's it's been proved right because the club are back where it belongs. You said it seems like the people running the club have learned so much from that. Definitely, definitely. You know, I think, you know, um, I've seen, I think everyone's seen um, how much everyone's progressed and 
learn from the experiences and you know the club you know we're really a club like Luton are really fortunate that it's got um, British owners who, who really genuinely support the football club have got no uh, don't want any financial gain from it they just want the club to do well and I think it's a rare it's a rare thing to have in English football and and I think now you know all them bad experiences if you like should be turned into good experiences because it makes this this you know this occasion now more, all the more special that you know they've had to really work hard the whole club the supporters the people behind the scenes the players and uh, you know they've all had to work really hard to get the club back where at the very least it belongs and, and obviously the, the various situations that happened last week and Greg said both players are very I think it's all, always the case. I think whenever you see, like I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much a old-fashioned traditionalist with football, and you know you see like football clubs folding, and I, I, you know I don't, don't think anyone likes that. You know even now you look at the Premier League, some of the, the clubs who, you know sometimes have a little, little bit of a game just you know with, with friends and stuff, and you sort of put all the clubs back in the leagues where they belong, and. You know, you look at like little clubs 10, 20 years ago who are now playing in the Premier League. You see big clubs who were in the top leagues playing you know, the conference. I remember the time when Luton were down there. And, you know, and it's, the, the, the gulf's massive now. And, you know, and I think a lot of people are, are taking over clubs for the wrong reasons. And, you know, fans don't know. You know, people uh, are sending out messages via social media and stuff. and. You know, it's, it's it's a bit of a guess whether you whether you back that person or not because no one knows the, the behind the behind the scenes story of what's what's really going on. But when you see the demise of clubs, you know, I think there should be more of a, uh, a punishment or penalty towards the person who's got the club in that state as opposed to making thousands upon thousands of people suffer. Football clubs suffer because someone's got on with the, with the wrong. The wrong agenda puts the club in the state it's in. They leave scot free, and everyone else seems to suffer. Lastly, just a bit of a random one, but I didn't think it was that. So we played four of our games under Chris Wilder at Halifax. Yeah. And obviously, he's zoomed through the leagues, the leagues with various teams, and now taking Sheffield United to the uh, to the Premier League. Um, we played them. We did the same. That sort of pathway. Well, as soon as he signed me, I knew he was going to be the top man. <laughs> And then uh, no, he's, he's still a good friend of mine, Chris. And I'm, I'm, again, I'm delighted for him. He's, you know, he's uh, he's done brilliant. He's done really well, Chris. And um, yeah, I enjoyed my time there. I think I'd retired for a little bit. I'd, I'd had a bit of a heart scare at the time, and my family wanted me to retire. So I, I had 18 months, and then when I made a comeback, got myself fit, and I ended up signing for Chris and played played them a few games for Chris. So definitely helped his managerial career, 100%. Thank you.